a couple of weeks now, we've been on the subject of fighting the good fight. Come on, put up your dukes. <laughs> fighting the good fight of faith. Yes, sir. Is there a good fight yes. of faith? Yes. Are you going to have to do some fighting yes. in this life? Yes. You know, to hear some people talk, there's no need for us to fight. No need for us to do anything. And there's actually a, a, a perversion of some ideas about grace. That the Lord's done everything, and so we don't do anything. We don't need to do anything, ever. Well, that's just not true. He has done everything in providing for us, obtaining for us, everything we need and will ever need. It is done. It is bought and paid for. But what has been provided by grace has to be possessed by faith. And when you go to get it, that's when you're going to run into a fight. Huh? The perfect example is that God gave to His uh, covenant people Israel the promised land. And He said, I have given it to you. Have you read those yeah. verses? Yeah. I have. None of them going to. This is before they ever set foot in it. He said, I have given you the land. Then he said, go up and possess it. Right. They couldn't say it wasn't theirs. God's already given it to them. But they're not in it. They're not enjoying it. Right? right. At all. And when they went to get it, what did they run into? Giants. Great big old hairy giants. <laughs> Is that right? Great big hairy problems. Walled cities. Iron chariots. Great big giant fighting men. Huh? And they got a revelation <laughs> that what God has given us yeah, he gave it to us, but we're going to have to fight these dudes to get it. It wasn't God trying to hold them out. It was the enemy. Right? And the same is true today. Everything that has been bought and provided by Jesus and given to us by grace is ours. We should enjoy it. We should live in it. We should experience it. But when you go to pick it up, when you go to take delivery, you're going to find a great big hairy devil sitting on top of it. And he's going to say, no, you can't have this. You're never going to get this. And that's when you're going to have to, you're not fighting God. You're not trying to get God to do it. Huh? It's already bought and paid for. But you're going to have to fight the good fight of faith to lay hold of it, hallelujah, and experience it in this life. Now, uh, 1 Timothy 6, 1 Timothy 6 and 12 says, fight. If the Bible says fight, what you going to have to do? Fight. fight. <laughs> I've actually had people tell me years ago, but I don't want to fight. <laughs> I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. But I don't want to fight. Well, be defeated then. That's the only other option you got. Hmm? No? When the Bible says fight? I said when the Bible says fight. Come on, come on, help me out. What are you going to have to do? It's something that a whole lot of people, they like to fight as long as it's their spouse or with somebody on the job or somebody at church. Huh? Oh, yeah. They want to get in some kind of scuffle all the time. But when it comes to fighting the enemy and fighting that kind of thing, I can't. <laughs> fight the good fight of faith. Say it out loud. Fight, fight. the good fight, the good fight. Of, faith. of faith. Now these next two words tell you how you do it. Lay hold. Lay hold on eternal life. Lay hold. That word lay hold, if you look it up in other verses, it, it, it means seize. 
It means to take. It means, we'd probably say grab. Grab. Like grabbing a hold of somebody. The same word is used like they would grab a hold of somebody to arrest them. Hmm? Do you need to grab a hold of some things? Yes. Eternal life. Now, eternal life doesn't just mean living forever. We have eternal life in us right now, yes. don't we? Yes. And that life of God is supposed to affect every area of our existence here and in, in the world to come. The life of God is supposed to affect your spirit, your mind, your soul, your body. Can the life of God be manifested in your flesh? Yes. Yes, it can. You can be quickened. And the life of God can be manifested, eternal life can be manifested in your finances and on the job and with your family, and your spouse, your friends, your kids, your grandkids. But in order to experience it and enjoy it, you'll have to lay hold of it. And when you go to lay hold of it, that's what I meant while I go by picking it up. When you go to lay hold of it, you're going to encounter some resistance. I know your flesh don't want to hear that, but that's just how it is, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I wish that we never encountered any resistance, but there's no need wishing it. We're in this world. Mm -hmm. It's full of the curse, devils, and crazy people. 